estate. Grimshaw estate this morning with a load of rogues. John Clark, his biggest rogue here. John Clark. John Clark. John Price, sorry. I always call him Clark. He looks like a Clark. It works. <laughs> Mr. Windsor. You know Sean Bramley. Tigger the Tiger. Graham Bell. Martin Harkett. And the marvellous Kev Joblin. who's going to show us how to shoot today. I think last time we were, we were giving him a thrashing though. <laughs> Popping up, obviously it's black underneath to start with okay. until you see where the pump's landing. No worries. Left to right. Well, Side of the wood again. A, tower. Well done, Matt. Fantastic, Thank you very much. Fantastic round there. Thank you. Yeah. What What did you estimate to be the the top score off a off a course like that? Off the layout. Off the layout. Yeah. Twenty three. Twenty three. Yes. Well, Matt wins a shot of twenty three. I shot a nice twenty two. Uh, I think most of them are sort of 21 to 20, okay. so just good then. with some good shooters there. Yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic gate layout. Once again, Mark. All right, thank you, Dave. Well done, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, thanks a lot. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. First bird, D bird. Coming from that track there. And we're going across this bus.
right. You're going to have to leave him alone because it's affecting him now. You're going to have to, going to, have to leave this old shooter alone because it's affecting him. Referee's just going through the targets. And if they want to see it again, they can see it twice. And this, uh, we've, had, they've, we've had it very steady on the first two, but these are proper targets now. Some really difficult targets on here, but it, it is a fit ass shoot, and they do put the best on here at, at Grimsop to test you anyway. I couldn't see yeah, that, 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 that cross. I could see the other one all right. Yeah. Well, you'll finish on this, Sean. 23, 23. The only thing I say is me, put them on so people can see them. Now, if you can see them, I think the, that, the, the trouble is a lot of people that shoot fit ass are the older... Yeah, the, yeah. That's why you've got to put them on to see them. 80% yeah. of us are over the age of 50. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. We die, it's, 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 it'll die out with fit us if they don't get more youngsters involved. It will. It will, there's no danger. They won't. But how do we get more youngsters in? Well, you've got, you've, got got to do you've got to do what I do, John. You've got to go outside the perimeter fence, i.e. outside the game fair. I keep telling these organisations that everybody that comes through that gate at the game fair is already a member, is already a shooter or uh, doing some sort of country sport. They never think about going to, the, to schools or going to town centres, outside supermarkets, saying, this is what we do, why don't you come and have a go at play pigeon shooting? And obviously, you have no need to throw game shooting down the throats, but you can get them into clay pigeon shooting, because not every clay pigeon shooter shoots game. They don't like shooting live uh, birds, but they, they get a lot of fun out of clay pigeon shooting. So I, I, it's only, and it, it, it is only a plus every time you go clay pigeon shooting, no matter what the weather, uh, the, usually you've got a good social aspect to it and uh, even, if, even if weather's bad, you have a good day.
that top of tree. <laughs> yeah, you, you've just seen a man with diphtheria kill a bird at 70 yards there. None of these like could well, have done that. We think it hit the tree. But <laughs> we'll see if I can we think it hit the tree, but we'll uh, we'll let him have it. Eh? We'll let him have it. Nice to show you here, Graham. Lovely. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Nice to show you, Martin. Well, I ain't done that very well, but <laughs> we've had a day out. That's it, mate. It is. Well, nice shoot, Kev. Lovely shoot today, mate. A bit too tough for me and thee. <laughs> a bit too wet. A bit too wet. Yeah, we got away with it for a couple of uh, layouts and then it just pothered on us, didn't it? Which certainly affected my shooting. Which would, which would you say were the best layout then, Kev? Shaman's. Yeah. First layout we shot. I would agree with that. Well, very nice, good variation. Got to concentrate on every target. Is that the one that we're off? The first, the first one. The first one. Who did you hammer? Hammered everybody. Wait, you hammer me? You shot a 20. What did you shoot? 23. I shot a 22. Oh, you got hammered. That's not hammering, is it? And what did you shoot, Kev? 21. I hammered him. Yeah, I hammered him. I thought Browning was the best layout. How did you get on there, Mark? 24. 21 you shot, liar. 24 on that layout. How did you get on there? I shot an 18, mm -hmm. I, you know, I just, yeah. I shot 23. Well, That's you, you, a hammering. Yeah, but no, but that were a very but easy layout. It, oh, was it? Yes, that's where you sort of shine and I slip up. Right. Yeah, I mean, whether, when, it, when it got really tough, me and Matt were, tough, you yeah. know. I'm just going different gear, don't we, Yeah. I mean, you look at that last layer we just shot. The, I think the, the the most difficult bird on that was, was that coming off that tower, that edge on. We shouldn't have missed anything else, but yet we missed that good long uh, crosser that were doing nothing at all, which we always expect Kev to miss them anyway. Them wow. really long, that really long stuff, the really audible hanging stuff. Well, he's been a bit shaky yeah. on these. <laughs> <laughs>